Hello, it's Mr. Britton from Britton Computer Tech Tutorials. Today what I'm going to show you how to do is create quick slots in GameMaker. So what we've got is I've got a character and if you notice down here I've got two quick slots open. I'm going to show you how to do the first one today and I have a hit points which is the orange one and the other one is an energy hit point. So right now what he does if he collects one of the potions he'll only have one. If he collects another one he'll have two and the same thing happens for these. Now the bar up top is his current hit point so if he gets hit by one of the flying bullets his hit points decreases. But if I use one of the quick slots and press the number one my hit points will increase back to full. So that's how you can increase your hit points by using one of those potions. So now he has none so now I can't use that quick slot anymore. So let me show you how I, how I did this. Now the first step is I had to set up some variables uh, for the uh, the hit point potion and the energy potion. So um, here's what I did. I created an object for my uh, hit point potion and an object for my energy potion. I'm only going to really show you how to do the hit points right now. In another video I'll, I'll show you how to use the energy in a, in a, in a skill. The next step was that I had made a collision event with the hit point potion and it's pretty simple um, it's going to set the variable global dot HP pots or global hit point pots and I'm using a global variable in this case and the value is one relative is checked second thing it does is it destroys the instance of other so the hit point potion will be destroyed once you collide with it. The exact same thing, thing happens with your energy hit points except there is a variable called globally dot energy pots uh, relative check value one. So that will increase the number that you have for that. The next thing is I used a event called uh, uh, key press so that if you press the one key you will get your maximum hit points. So I had to do four different uh, actions to do this. The first thing was I tested the variable global.hp pots. If the value is larger than zero, then it will allow you to perform the next. Because if you don't have any, you don't want to be able to increase your total hit points if you don't have any potions in your quick slot. So if that's true, then it will do these two things inside of the blocks. Number one, your variable boy HP is now increase to your boy's maximum HP and we set these two variables up in the create event in a previous tutorial. Then your global HP pots is has a negative one so it takes away one from your hit point pots and your relative is checked. I'll show you how to draw this in my next uh, tutorial. So thank you very much for watching. You can check out more of this on my website.